I'm Beth Mendelson with the Owl Research Institute, and today we're out here in the field to check on some short-eared owl nests. And we're actually going to look at some camera setups that we've been putting out now for a few years that are designed to look at nests and capture things that we usually can't see just from making observations from afar. For example, we're looking for predation and nest abandonment to try and figure out why these owls have such a low rate of success when they're nesting. So come on, let's go! And we have it set up like this so that we can come to these boxes and these camera setups, check on them, make sure that everything's working okay, see if the owl's still on her nest, and collect data if she's not. And if she is, everything's good, and we'll head back out with the data and look at the videos on our computer. So in here, we have a pretty powerful battery. We have a DVR set up and some other stuff that's been rigged by our technology specialist. And this nest is actually really special because I was able to get one of the cameras right up into the nest after the eggs had hatched. And so we have a cool view of what's actually going on in there. Okay, so here's cameras. We have two cameras on each nest for the most part. And this is the camera looking into the nest. So I can see that the female, she's not in there. So either all the chicks have left the nest, they disperse on foot when they're about 14 to 18 days old, or something happened and the nest has failed. Okay, so it looks like this nest has failed. Uh, we'll have to go back and look at the footage to see what exactly happened. But now I can collect data from the nest, see what it looks like here, see if there's any evidence, so that in the future we might have a better idea of what happened at nests, even if we don't have a camera. And there is a good chance that some of the chicks actually dispersed and went off on foot. So there could still be some survivors around. So we'll look around a little bit. Dead, desiccated vole, which is their main prey. And that probably indicates that the nest did fail. They wouldn't typically just leave prey behind. Somebody would have eaten that. And it probably happened a couple days ago since the vole looks pretty old. But we can also see around the edge of the nest here, there's all this little poop and pellets. That usually looks like a pretty successful nest. There was a lot of chicks in this nest. And what they do is they go around the rim and they take their little poops there. And as they get older and there's more of them, the female can't keep up with the nest sanitation and cleaning all the pellets. So it does start to accumulate just before they leave the nest. So we'll collect some feathers for a DNA sample. Most of these feathers are from the female. She'll molt while she's in the nest, especially this late in the season. She's probably molting fairly heavily. So there's a chance that we can get some DNA off of some of these feathers. And I look pretty close. I'm looking for anything like broken feathers indicating a struggle or pin feathers that have been pulled out from chicks, something like that, which I have not seen yet. So in a lot of ways, this is really unfortunate. You know, another nest failed. Uh, looks like a predator got to the nest. Um, but luckily we did have the cameras at the nest and we have footage, everything recorded well. So we'll be able to go back and look at that and see exactly what happened and learn a little bit more about some of the threats to the short-eared owl, which is in decline. And we see most of the nests failing. And this year has been a pretty good year. So we haven't been able to get a ton of data on nest failures because fewer are failing, which we're happy about. But when we are able to capture one, it's, it's great for our project. 